Joshu asked Nansen, what is the path? Nansen said, every day life is a path. <laughs> it's almost like asking what is breathing and what is taste, what is seeing and what is hearing. Every day life is the path. If you understand, if you want to understand that, you have to make sure that every day morning when you get up, your nostril blood is very, very important. Before you go to write your examination, nostril blood is very important. Before you eat your food, your nostril blood is very important. Before you go to the toilet, nostril blood is very, very important. Clearing the path. Once you have cleaned your path, the, what is the path? Everyday life, this is your everyday life. If you clean this path, only on this simple exercise, of the nostril blow out, you do it taking the mudra and then you do this one, you can find you are cleansed and the breathing is very easy, easily done. And you can, eye power increases, hearing power increases, cells lying idle in the brain starts waking up, and slow learners become fast learners. And for every question, there is an answer. Answer flows of its own before you see the answer, before you see the question. Everyday life is a path. Once you know that you have to train your body, which is given the power, and then you make sure that the stomach carbon dioxide has been pushed out, you do the do this 30 times, 200 times. You can find the gastric problems, the salt, sugar patients, their pancreas gets activated. And when you activate your pancreas, Mahatma Gandhi said, provoke till they respond. And when you provoke the pancreas through the Kabbalah, <laughs> pancreas will be forced to release funds, government will be forced to release funds, and pancreas will be forced to release insulin. And when government releases the funds, poverty is down. When the insulin is released, sugar level comes down. What is the path? Everyday life is the path. That every day, without change, you have to make sure that you sweat. You do your work at home, clean up the house, light the lamp. And what is the path? Everyday life is the path means you make sure that you wish your father and mother good morning and give them a bear hug and then do Shastanga Namaskara. When you do Shastanga Namaskara, prostration in front of your parents or elders, your stomach hits the floor and in that Shastanga Namaskara, you can see the body is in straight line. Whenever the body is in straight line, you will not have any diseases. That was why the oldest Purvigar, the ancestors have made sure, Shashtaka Namaskar, please do Shashtaka Because if they say exercise, nobody will do it. So whenever they say any senior, they go flat, they go in the temple, they go flat, yes. And there won't be excess fat in the stomach, visceral fat, yes. Stomach will be flat, when stomach is flat, you feel very, very energetic. Joshua asked, can it be studied? Everyday life is a path, can it be studied? Nansen said, if you try to study, you will be far away from it. <laughs> when you walk the path and you do it, if you try to study what is taste, no, no. when you chew it, you know, when you chew every water, you can see the electricity starts penetrating into your ears, into the eyes, into the brain. People forgot that, that water is electricity and it can charge the whole body. If you try to study, you will be far away from it. One day, the centipede was walking. And the fox called centipede. Centipede, centipede. And centipede said, what fox? Fox said, can I ask you a question? And centipede said, please fox, I know you are cunning. Please do not ask me any questions. <laughs> fox said, please centipede, one. Just one question. I'll leave you off. And centipede said, what? And Fox said, Centipede, I was always wondering how that you are having thousand legs. And Centipede said, thousand legs? I never studied that I had thousand legs. 
Everyday life is a path. Can it be studied? Nansen said, if you try to study, you'll be far away from it. And Centipede said, oh, I never knew I had thousand legs. Now the fox said, Centipede, one more question. I was wondering, I wanted to ask you, how you are walking with thousand legs? And Centipede said, oh, I never thought about it. It just happened. The taste happens of its own. The look happens of its own. Yes. I was in an engineering college uh, program and uh, there was a psychologist who came on that day and he was giving a big lecture and that time he was telling you see a girl on the street and um, the boys intend to look at the girl and suddenly the girl feels offended please try to understand the boy must must have seen his sister or cousin sister almost looking the same face style so he must have looked at you don't think every boy is looking at you for something uh, sexual because it is his mother's face or auntie's face or that look must have attracted please try to understand the psychologist said that time i was realizing yes that is truth many times i see people oh it looks like my ex student oh it looks like my sister <laughs> yes Sometimes you intend to look. Nansen said, if you try to study, you will be far away from it. Centipede said, oh, I never thought how I am walking thousand legs. And then the fox continued, Centipede, one more last question. And Centipede said, what? He said, can you tell me which leg you put forward, right leg or left leg? And Centipede for a second was shocked. He looked into his legs and it seems Centipede collapsed. From that day, he couldn't walk and he died. <laughs> so please, when you try to study the path, when you enter, that is the experience you enter into. You examine your, your, your materials, what your teacher or te taught your mother has said. And that examination makes you to feel, taste, taste, feel, smell, taste, touch and see. The five sense organs. That is beautiful. That you practice, that you practice loosening every part of your body and you find very healthy you don't know how to go to the doctor nansen said if you try to study you'll be far away from it <laughs> never try to study the guru never try to study your parents just listen and melt it it happens of his own answers flows of his own if i do not study how can i know it is a path nansen said the path does not belong to the perception world Neither does it belong to the non-perception world. Cognition is a delusion and non-cognition is senseless. If you want to reach the true path beyond doubt, place yourself in the same freedom as the sky washed. Open both hands and just have a bear hug of your parents and your children and your grandparents. And the bear hug of your tree, cognition, senseless perception, all melts into that one and you do not have the Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra of the dictionary language. Your name is neither good nor not good. At these words, Joshua was enlightened. <laughs>